Student David Flores lives on the top floor of a Paris apartment block. Like many older buildings in the city, it's poorly insulated. David says it's stifling hot in the summer and it was so unbearable during last year's heat waves that he was forced to leave. I dunk myself in water to stay cool. The heat gives me headaches. Last year I was writing my thesis but couldn't concentrate so stayed elsewhere. I'm a climate refugee in my own city. A study in British medical journal The Lancet says people in Paris have the highest risk in Europe of dying in a heat wave, partly because it has a large number of elderly, more vulnerable residents, but also a cityscape that absorbs heat. At times it's 10 degrees hotter in the capital than in the outskirts. Climate change is pushing up temperatures. Summers in France are getting warm. And from here, it's easy to see why Paris gets so hot. It's very densely built. There are few green spaces. And the old buildings and metals and grooves are certainly charming, but they trap heat. A cross-party group of Paris councillors has raised the alarm. It says Paris must adapt to temperatures that could regularly reach 50 degrees in the future. We need to take away the bitumen plant trees, paint our roofs in white, uh, reform our buildings, take away uh, the cars and everything that produces heat in the city. These shutters are perforated to let air and light when closed, but they can also be fully open so you can see the city. Remy Soulot helped design this social housing project with climate change in mind. Green spaces, isolation and shutters all keep temperatures down. These days it can go above 40 degrees, so we need radically different architecture to combat heat, inspired by Mediterranean architecture rather than traditional Paris buildings. Nearly 3,000 people died during heat waves in France last year, the highest number since the country's deadliest summer in 2003. On both occasions, Paris was worse hit. Unless the city adapts fast, some say it could become unlivable. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.